That's it. I'm uh, here today with Medwin Williams, MBE, e specialist exhibition grower of all types of vegetable. Medwin, would you like to talk us through how to grow potatoes in some of these potato planter bags? Because, you know, a lot of people are now moving to this method and they basically need, you know, basic information what to do. Well, these bags here, I have to say they're, they're the best that I've seen for, for a long, long time. They're made out of good, strong material. They've got handles on the side, which they can carry them in. They've got brass, um, what do you call them, ferrules, I think, for, yeah, for drainage. Brass drainage and yeah. the flap that you can open. I mean, yeah, I like the, the flap business. You know, if you open that, you can get your small, uh, bigger potatoes out yeah. and then leave the smaller ones to develop and carry on. Right. Um, the potato, of course, is people mistakenly think it's... It's, it's actually producing potatoes. The actual potato produces the shoot mm -hmm. that will produce the homes, which will produce the potatoes eventually. Yes. So this is merely a mass, it's a cell yeah. that produces it. So it consists of different parts. It's got two ends. One is called the rose end. I never did know why they called it the no. rose. It doesn't look no, like a rose at all. It's a mystery to me as well, to be honest. And that end is called the heel end. Now that is the little bit there that was attached to the mother plant. That's correct. So that's the heel end, that's the rose end. That's predominantly where the eyes are. And it's from the eyes that you get the shoots that will develop into the homes. Yes. Now, they want to be chitted. Yeah. Now, chitted means breaking the dormancy of, of the tuber to create these eyes and shoots. Now, the best thing I find for, for doing this is, is uh, an egg tray. It's made out of soft cardboard. It, it'll absorb any moisture or dampness in the air. Yes. And all you do is make sure that the heel end is at the bottom and you can push it in like that, and the raw sand is here. Now, that's just quite firm in there. You can move it about, and you can fill it up with potatoes. You know they're all the right way up, and the shoots will come up. What you're looking for in a, in a good quality seed potato is shoots that are firm, thick, like that. Yeah, definitely. And you can see here, these are eventually the root system that form down the bottom of the shoot. Yeah. And these will come out like spiders out of here, the roots. And that's... Is, is where the, the so contact with the soil will produce the tops. Yeah. This will eventually rot. This one is already starting to shrivel and it'll die. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes you'll still get a firm potato, but more often than not, it'll die off. What you don't want to plant is something like that. Now, that, that is a bad example of, of a chitin. This will still grow, but the care and attention you have to give it, you know, in case you break it. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to snap that off. No, no, they're very, very weak. That's it, then. You, you've no. lost a potato. Why do you haven't said that, Ian? If you had the time and patience, there's roots there. Yeah, you, you can grow them from you, the roots. You, you can plant it as deep but as that. You can, see, you can see that all the goodness has been taken out of the potato oh, yeah. to oh, produce these exactly. spindly shoots. It's used you know, it's, all it's the a, energy It's a within waste that. of the energy. Yeah, within that cell is definitely not what I want. That is the internal structure of a nice, good quality potato. Uh, this is actually a variety called Kestrel, you can tell with the yeah, lovely the purple, eyes. purple splash yeah. on there. And it's got a fairly high dry matter content, um, which the Irish so love because yeah. of the rooster and the um, British Queen and varieties like that. That means it's got to be good for roasting and chipping yeah. and floury. So that's a good type of potato. So we've selected the type of potato we want to grow in the grow bags. Yeah. We've purchased some compost. Now, basically... Right. Any general purpose compost will do the job. Yeah, well, what the technical term, term actually is not compost. Compost right. is where you get at the bottom of the garden. In a right. I was put right by a, a company. It's actually mm. a growing medium. Growing that, medium. That's the t t technical term for it. If you're growing your potatoes, now we've got them chitted. Mm -hmm. And three inches or so, three to four inches of, of this beautiful sort of compost uh, at the bottom of the bag. And then... Three, three or four potatoes. Depends what you want to do with them. Yeah. If you grow these for the summer shows, mm -hmm. then some people would only put one in, to be honest. Yeah. But I'd go away with three. Mm -hmm. You'd get three potatoes. If you're doing them for Christmas... For, for, for yeah, just some, Christmas some, summer summer planting potatoes for Christmas or autumn harvesting. That's right. I would put perhaps four in, in a bag like that because yeah. there's enough guts in there. And then all you do is you sit them in on top of that, make sure the shoots are up, not, yep. not that way, up like that. And then cover it with another four-inch layer. Perfect. And soak it well with water. Mm -hmm. the, the drainage holes 
We'll yeah, there's, there's drainage holes all the way around yeah. and on the bottom, which are very important. Yeah. I mean, there is some bags that we've seen that have no drainage holes on the bottom. No, I've, I've seen drainage holes three inches up here. Yeah, I mean, well, it's no good to anyone, that. Crazy. They'll drown in, in, in their own water. Uh, once you water, water well until it comes out. Leave it then for at least a couple of weeks yeah. until you see visual signs Vicious. of growing. Yeah. And then just, there's no way the water is going to evaporate from here. It can't go out that no. way. The only way it's going to go out is from the top mm -hmm. or through transpiration through the foliage itself. Right. So just keep the top evenly moist mm -hmm. at that point. And they should grow well. As they get up, after about six inches of growth, put some more compost in. Yep. And continue doing that. And then you can unwind and unfurl the bag until you get it to its full length or full height. And notice as well that there are handles. Oh yes, I see the handles you know, there. Perfect. Very handy for lifting up. Yeah. Strong. Spe especially for the summer planting potatoes, you know, that are going yeah. to be affected possibly by frost later in the season. You can actually lift these bags up yeah, and well, put them inside. Yeah, take them in your conservatory, for your polytunnel or glass house, yeah. anywhere. The, the problem, if any, with the summer potatoes is going to be the blight at the end yeah. of the season. But they shouldn't be concerned because they can cut the tops off yeah. anyway. And the potatoes will have done their business Yeah, all, by the, then. all the growth should be done by that part of the season. That's right. So we're now in an imaginary situation where we've got this full of compost, 20 inch of here. Potatoes are coming through, they'll be up here. Once they get to there, I would actually put two canes on for the summer growing. Yeah, for the give, them, ex growing give them extra support. Yeah, And then another string. Because they will grow quite tall. And yeah. What you don't want them doing is flopping about all over the place, getting mm -hmm. wet and mouldy. And yeah. if you can keep them up there where they've got plenty of air around, mm -hmm. there's a good chance while they dry, yeah. they'll resist the blight longer. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, would you like to talk us through your mixture of compost or the growing medium with the Vitax Q4? Yeah. I mean, what what sort of ratio do you mix? Well, four ounces. Probably on that to, to a 70 litre bag or something like that yeah. would be more than enough, I think. I we think don't so at that time of year. Yeah. You don't want too much of a, of a kick. It'll give you the greener plants. It'll give you full... The plant will grow to its optimum, mm -hmm. and that's what you want with any plant. Yeah. Now then, we've got the organic. If people want to grow organic, I'm not organic myself, but this is a, a, a complete organic fertiliser. This has no micronutrients. This has purely got the NPK. The other thing that they need to do is watch out for slugs. Yeah, definitely. Because later on in the season, you're going to get some moist, damp weather. Mm -hmm. And the old slug loves nothing better than moisture, dampness. It's their favourite. Um, don't overdo the, the, the slug pellets. No. It's not good to, to animals and birds if it's there too much. If they're done properly, as they, uh, as they tell you on the instructions, about one pellet every four or five inches square it's sufficient. is sufficient. Yeah. It'll keep the slug away. Or the other thing I'd like to say is about growing them for Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. This is the whole intention of yeah. the summer for the su planting. For the summer planting. Because you will have, and I'm depending on you now, to have stored a big batch of these yeah. at a certain temperature. Oh, yeah, they have to be cold stored. Stored, yes. So they don't shoot until yes. we need them to shoot. Exactly. And That's the, key. the window for planting these summer planting ones. Mm -hmm. It's very small. Yeah. Um, early July to third week in August, that yeah. sort of window. D depending on your area of where you live in the That's country. Right. You know, further, further down south, south yeah. th there's a slightly larger window. Yeah. Whereas up north, it's going to be very tight. Yeah, especially up in the US, yeah. right up the top Definitely. end. Um, and then, of course, we, we've gone through the, the harvesting now. You'll find probably towards October, end of October, early November, the tops will be starting to be marked. They may have a touch of blight. The wind will have rocked them oh, yeah. and knocked them about. The damage. By then, there should be enough potatoes in that bag. You can cut the homes off mm -hmm. or the shores. Yeah. Take them away and bury them in, in, in the compost bin if, they, if they've got no disease on. And then just fold the top up a bit and take it in your potting sheds. Take it somewhere yeah. dry under cover. Yep. And then Christmas morning, I go down with a little tot of that yellow nectar yeah. And empty the bag into a wheelbarrow. Yep. And there we are, a good saucepan full, you know. Perfect. Your own new potatoes on Christmas Day. What better can you? There's, there's nothing better you could get. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Complete Guide to Summer Potatoes by Medwin Williams, MBE.